Breaking news from Winnebago County where crews are on the scene of a business fire. It's at Futech Forms, Tags and Labels in Nina. And Emily Dean joins us live from Nina with the latest. Good morning, Emily. Rachel, good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. We're kind of getting a clearer picture of what this building looks like. Before, we could barely see it because smoke was just billowing through the air. If you take a look behind me, you can see the smoke has st kind of started to clear, and you can see there is a warehouse back there. Discovery Drive out here is closed. You can see crews are still on the scene. Well, I have Nina Menasha, Fire Rescue Chief, with me. Al Oxier is here with me this morning. Al, good morning to you. Good morning. Chief, tell us, you were telling me the fire, um, you believe, started in the north end. Kind of explain to us uh, where you think this fire started. Yeah, the, the crews initially got here, I, I would guess, I don't know the exact time, shortly before 5 o'clock, around 5 o'clock, and made entry into the north portion of the building, which is a wood frame structure. Uh, shortly after entry, uh, there was report of uh, uh, fire and smoke, heavy uh, fire above them in the attic space. Uh, lightweight wood truss construction. The fire got in, up into the attic space and spread rapidly through the wood trusses with the wind aiding once, once it uh, broke through the roof, it uh, ventilated itself. Uh, the wind pushed the fire more from the wood structure end to the warehouse end on the south side. So it was really pretty much uh, 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 from the beginning uh, a problem with getting to the fire and the seat of the fire and getting actually water on the fire. Chief, tell me, I know um, some firefighters I spoke with, they said visibility was one thing that was a major issue for them. Well, the problem we had was the weather, of course, the rain this morning, the wind. Uh, the smoke conditions were uh, intense. Uh, the north end of the building wasn't too bad, but when you tried to move to the south end of the building and do some type of uh, exposure protection to the warehouse, the smoke was blowing right in our faces and the wind uh, blew fire right into the warehouse. and. It was pretty intense, a lot of fire. Uh, they just couldn't get much, you know, make much progress in moving forward in protecting many areas of the building. And it, does, it did extend into the warehouse. And, and so the crews are going to keep fighting it from the outside, right? It's pretty much gone to an exterior attack about a half hour after we got here. We had the initial interior attack, and then it moved to an exterior attack. Uh, yes, that's where they're at right now, trying to do as much as we can as far as uh, getting the building uh, secured and uh, have the ability to do some type of an investigation to see if we can figure out what happened here. And we really don't know if it was open at the time of the fire at all? I do not think it was open. I, I'm not 100% sure, but in just touching base with the uh, uh, workers here, uh, there was no one inside at that point, and uh, it just went from there. No report of any injuries that we no. know, any firefighters at all, smoke inhalation? No, no problems at this time. Uh, thank, thankful, thankful for that. Uh, so hopefully we can continue to just knock things down and get it under control and move forward on this nasty day. So it's really, you know. Yeah. Do we know time-wise or anything how much longer crews are going to be out here? I can see the tanks back there, firefighters helping each other with their tanks. We'll be on scene for, I would guess, a couple hours. I mean, the investigation itself is going to go far probably into the day after that. So we'll be on scene probably all day uh, in one form or another as far as extinguishing or uh, protection and then investigation. Chief, I really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much. Um, I want to tell you, too, someone who used to work here just works down the road now. He said he came outside to see what was going on, and all he saw in the distance was this huge glow. And like we said before, luckily no injuries to report at this time, but we will stay on scene this morning and report to you as soon as we learn any new information. For now, we'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks, Emily. Emily Deem live in Nina this morning.